And I've really reduced my focus to the subject of women in relationship to the Islamic Revolution. Historically, uh, even though on the surface um, women have been really oppressed, uh, the, the people who have been very vocal in Iranian society are women. And they're the ones who are against the war, but they're always fought the authority. And, um, and for me, it has been a tremendous inspiration uh, to look back at Iranian history from various political to cultural uh, references to see how women have been extraordinary examples and so vocal. And to me, that feminism is very attractive. I think uh, the question of opposites, uh, paradoxical um, issues have been the most relevant and the core of my work. My work is very political, but it's also very personal. Uh, it's very emotional, but it's also very punchy. So uh, I just can't think outside of uh, uh, this, this idea of the yin and yang, the, the notion of the, the opposites. I feel emotionally, psychologically, and politically, um, as an Iranian woman, uh, divided between the American uh, culture and the Iranian culture. So I'm also ex extremely American or Western. So I am, I, I would say, an example uh, of a, a global, a nomadic uh, human being that is really impossible to give one form of identity or sense of belonging. Um, all of the political events that happened ever since September 11th obviously have been dramatically affecting my personal life, uh, including my travel, simple, uh, simple realities of uh, being no longer able to even connect to the family or even visiting them elsewhere or getting visas for the family. And, and really, on a personal level, um, not just me, but all Muslims and Iranians have been really enduring very difficult political uh, life. On, on the a global level, uh, also uh, an artistic level, uh, it, it really has not given me a space to do work that somehow escapes the political reality. Uh, it's not that I feel this sense of responsibility as an Iranian Muslim woman to always make work that comments on what is going on. It's just that I don't find that psychological space to remove myself from the political reality that is not just affecting the world but informs my, polit my own personal life. So nevertheless, I think if you look back um, in the work that I have produced since September 11, even on the metaphorical level, they're all making references to what has been happening in this world and how it is affecting my life and my people. Um, and so, unfortunately, it's too close of a proximity to ignore.